in the woods. I'm always in the woods. But this morning, it's 8 o'clock, my youngest son had his Aka, Aarifskunde, I think it's geography or something. He has a test today, so he wanted to go over that. It was 8 o'clock, and Pepper wanted to go out, and he had, he had like an hour. And I said, and we're sitting at the kitchen table, looking at his book, and he's, you know, distracted. So I said, hey, let's go, let's go outside. Let's, let's take a dog, let's go out in the forest, walk around for 20 minutes, and let's bring your book, let's walk through it. My point here is that I don't want Spark Campfire to mean only, exclusively, you're sitting at a desk next to each other with pens and paper and graphs and pie charts and, you know, too much, like, work, right? Because and some of that, we got to write, right? We got to, at some point, type words into paper or computer or something to get the words. Well, actually, you technically don't have to. You can uh, dictate, which is a different topic. But for now, yes, we're going to have to... Uh, say, they have to. This is supposed to be the fun part, right? <laughs> uh, write the books. That I get it. I get it. But I, <laughs> as I work on this, I realize it's more and more about the relationship. It's more and more about working together. And that does not mean sitting next to each other at the kitchen table with paper and pens. And oh, I just see this like cloud of you know. Okay, here comes the book. Project Monster. I don't want that. All right, let's go outside. We could talk about geography and the climate. That's what we were doing this morning. Or let's go out there and let's talk about our upcoming book. And some of my best stuff with the boys four years ago when we first did the book was we're walking home from school. And I just sort of nonchalantly ask him, hey, so in chapter six, right, so the dog's about to go into the cave and, you know, I can't remember what happens next, you know, just, do you remember? And they just chit chat and let them tell me the next part of the chapter. And we're not, I didn't mention, I didn't say the word chapter, or maybe I did, but I shouldn't. The word chapter, the word book, the word storyline, plot, character, none of that. Just maybe, after we went into the cave, I can't remember, did, who went first? Is it Lee or Lou? And then one of them, or you can also tease him a little bit, like, no. Oh, Lou is going first, right? Because, I mean, I don't know, he's more adventurous. And then, and then Lee's going to come in and say, no, 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 I'll go in first. So start the conversation, get them, get them rolling, I mean, even, even you know, poke at them or poke fun, and think of other creative ways just to engage the discussion. Get the discussion going, get it flowing, and that is work. Those are air quotes. Those are air quotes, because... The word work, I don't, I'm trying to avoid this word, period. I don't want this to be work. I want this to be fun. I want it to be an experience. I'd like this to flow out of us and have a conversation turn into a chapter. Think of, I mean, we could do, you do 10 walks into the woods and have 10 chapters. That's, that would be perfect. And it doesn't mean 10 hours at the table, slaving away at the computer, typing away and trying to get your grammar right. It could even be, I was just talking about audiobooks, and it could even be you know, an audible audio story told on, on, on 10 walks through the forest. Boom! I just thought of a whole new creative concept to create content. That's it. That's all I want it to be. So, out in the woods, doesn't need me at a table, doesn't need to be pen and paper. You can write it up later, or edit later, or in your time, or whenever it works. But for the creative stuff, yeah, sure, try the table, but also be open to different ideas. Be open to, I heard, I read a thing where boys, son, father, if you face each other, it's a confrontational for them. And they're like, oh, I can't handle it. But if you go side by side and like walk together or driving side by side, right? Hey, duckies. Hey, ducks. <laughs> go side by side, it's less confrontational and we can sort of, can you see the duck? <laughs> uh, you, can, you can go forward together in a parallel universe or something. All right? This is my office. I have ducks. This is where I'm working. 
Just work. <laughs> you having fun? I'm having fun. I got ducks, I got dogs, I got frogs, I got birds. I got chapters, I got content. We have creativity going on right here. Remember a few minutes ago, did you hear that part? I just thought of how to create a book, 10 chapter book, ducks in the water, 10 chapter book by 10 walks through the woods with your 10 year old. Boom, there you go. All right, it's that kind of stuff I wanna do in Spark Campfire. That's what we're here for. Let's take the office out of the office. This is not even mentioning the word office. Let's just get outside. Take a walk, see what happens. Walk parallel with the boy.